All right, the spotlight is shining on a new part of St. Petersburg tonight. The Skyway Marina District hasn't felt a lot of the city's recent economic boom. But Bay News 9's Trevor Pettiford says tonight its time has come. The Skyway Marina District has quietly been waiting its turn, waiting for the development boom so much of the rest of St. Petersburg has seen to find its way along this busy corridor. Well, its ship may have just come in and landed here in this empty nine acre lot. And it's going to be kind of like a beach vacation for residents, for people in the area. Phillips Development and Realty just purchased the land to build a 300 unit complex, complete with storefront shopping, room for restaurants, volleyball, and even something called a lazy river. A typical lazy river that circles and weaves in and out of trees and volleyball courts. Parker Homan says this development is the first of its kind in the area. With a $70 million price tag, officials expected to set the trend for a wave of new development in the district. The original plan was for Home Depot to build a store here. So they bought up the property, tore down the old resort, but never really moved forward on plans to build the new store. So this place sat idle for years. Now, there's renewed hope that this project will be the cornerstone to redeveloping the whole neighborhood. Peter Mustafa and Omar Suede have been selling furniture for the last couple of years here. They've been waiting for this kind of development ever since. The south side of St. Pete has been very dormant, very dormant. And uh, with this project coming up right now, first of all, it's going to help people like us, small businesses, unload a lot of our furniture. Yeah. Uh, it's a big plus for the neighborhood. And a big plus for a developer wanting to set a standard for turning this community around. Driving here just now, there's plenty of empty lots that I'm sure will get developed and we're, we'll set the precedence on how that'll look. With this project coming up, it just gives us a lot more hope. Definitely, definitely a lot more hope. Plan to sell a lot of furniture here when it opens up over there? Yep, looking forward to it. <laughs> in St. Petersburg, Trevor Pettiford, Bay News 9. Now, city officials are in full support of this project. St. Pete has even agreed to spend more than two and a half million dollars on landscaping, signage, lights, even banners surrounding the property. The Phillips project is expected to be completed by 2019.